Good morning, everybody. Today we're going to cook some ribs, uh, North Carolina style. I'm getting ready to make some barbecue sauce. I don't have any in the refrigerator, so what I have here is about 12 ounces of apple cider vinegar. Um, I'm going to add some red pepper to it. What you want is about a about a tablespoon of red pepper. And you want to add some black pepper. About the same thing. A tablespoon to a, a tablespoon and a half, maybe. I always say you do what you like. That's about what I like in mine. Sometimes I add a little bit more red pepper. You will put some salt in, maybe two tablespoons of salt in with it. Okay. I got that ready. So, and what you're going to do is, while the ribs are cooking, you're going to be pouring some of this on the ribs uh, to keep them from drying out. And uh, I get the ribs ready, and uh, I'll come back to you in a minute. Okay, I got the uh, ribs out. I've already pulled the silver skin off. Uh, that only took about a minute. Uh, I also cut this bone out here, this rib. That was running crossways here. So I always like to cut that off so my ribs are more uniform. Um, <coughs> excuse me. I'm going to put some, some rub on here, which is nothing but salt and pepper. And some red pepper. these ribs this is going to be North Carolina style so we don't we don't put a lot of sweetened rubs on it you lose the pork flavor when you do that and the whole deal with the ribs is to have the pork flavor okay I'm going to flip these over and we're going to do the meat side now Last time I did a whole rack of ribs like this, um, I picked them out at the grocery store and I got them home and they were full of fat. Um, this time I had my groceries delivered and I believe they did a better job of picking out the ribs than I did, so it's not as much fat on these. I mean, you want some fat because it's going to, a lot of it's going to render off, but the last rack I got was almost all fat. Let me put some salt on here. Okay. We got the salt ready now. Sprinkle just a little bit of red pepper on here because I showed you a while to go how we make our, our sauce for it. and It's got red pepper in it too, so I don't need a lot of red pepper on here. Just some add flavor to it, and that's it. Okay, these are ready for the uh, for the smoker. So let me get all right there and get that fired up. Uh, these ribs are almost at room temperature. I've had them out for about two hours, waiting for them to bring up. So let me get my smoker fired up, and we'll be out there in a minute. Okay, I'm back at the 560. Uh, I had a little problem putting out my little sliders. Uh, but I got a map. Uh, the fire's been lit for maybe 20 seconds. And it's about 65 degrees out here today. And it's already gone up to 102, 103 degrees that fast. So we're going to be at 225 in probably three or four minutes. And I go get my ribs and bring them out here. And we'll put them on the smoker. I'll be right back. Okay, we got the smoker up to about 200. Uh, the wind's blowing a lot today, so it's going to be hard to keep that trim steady. Um, I got the ribs on, and uh, they're just starting to cook a little bit. The grate's full of uh, charcoal. The fan's running. I can hear it just barely. Um, so everything's ready, so in about two more hours, I'll come out here and we'll give it a look and see what's going on with it. All right, this is David again. I want to give a shout out to Smoking Joe's Barbecue. Um, 
I was on his channel, I believe it was last Wednesday or Thursday night. We were talking about North Carolina barbecue versus Texas barbecue. Uh, he just did a cook-off and a taste test uh, last night uh, on his channel. Uh, he hadn't given the results yet. Uh, I know what the results are, but I'm not going to tell you. But I will tell you that uh, Dallas Cowboys won this weekend. Go Cowboys. And um, Texas don't win everything, but I will tell you that. <laughs> so, But I want to give a shout-out to... Uh, y'all guys uh, get a chance to uh, go by and look at his channel uh, and subscribe to it. The guy, uh, he can cook. I've been watching some of his uh, cooks the uh, last couple of days. He can really cook. So if you get a chance, go by and look at him. Uh, uh, also, uh, if you like this video, hit the, uh, the like and the subscribe button. And leave me some comments about what you think of uh, North Carolina barbecue. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do some of his Texas barbecue and give that a taste. Hey everybody, it's David again. Uh, I want to give a shout out to um, Smoking Joe's Barbecue down in Texas. Um, I was on his uh, channel the other night and we um, we talked about doing uh, North Carolina barbecue. Um, he had he had done some and somebody had told him to put brown sugar in it. And I'm telling him we don't we don't put brown sugar in our barbecue down here. But, uh, but anyhow, he um, he did a taste test on his first video in Texas one, which wasn't surprising to me but uh, that's what they eat down there they eat texas style barbecue so uh this time uh he went ahead and made another video and he cooked it the way i told him i cooked mine uh, so he did another taste test last night after he finished cooking everything now i know the results but i'm not going to tell you you're going to have to go over to his uh his channel to find out whether north carolina beat texas or whether texas beat north carolina but we'll tell you the cowboys won so uh we're in good shape there. Um, so if that gives you any hint, uh, he's one up on us. And, and, and that's it. We're hoping to tie the score. But, uh, but you have to go over to his video to find out what happened there. Uh, but anyhow, uh, while you're over there, look at some of his other videos. Uh, subscribe to his channel. He uh, he does a good job cooking from what I've seen. Um, he, he knows a lot about cooking. And I'm going to learn something from him. So maybe you will too. So anyhow... But that's just my two cents, and uh, we'll get back to the cook in a few minutes. Before we start this cook today, uh, and we're going to be cooking some North Carolina-style ribs, um, I do want to let you know that uh, I'm going to be holding a contest uh, for the next 30 days. Today, I believe it's the 20th, so we're going to go to October the 20th. Uh, if we get uh, 100 subscribers between now and October the 20th, uh, I will be giving away a $50 gift card uh, to Amazon. So uh, go ahead and subscribe. Leave a comment. Let me know you subscribe. So when I pick a winner, um, I, I know who, who subscribed. Okay. Uh, this is David again. Uh, just hit that like button and leave that comment. Hit the subscribe and you'll be, uh, you'll be uh, in the drawing. Thanks. Okay. We're back at the Master Bill 560. Uh, the ribs have been on about two hours and 25 minutes. Um, the wind's blowing so much, I think I'm going to pull these reels and relax them to speed up the cooking time. So, uh, I'll be back with you shortly. Okay, I got the ribs wrapped now. I'm going to go back and put them on the grill. Um, these have only been on about two hours and 25 minutes, so they got another, at least two hours to go. I put some of the, uh, my barbecue sauce down and, uh, keep some moisture in, so they should cook fairly fast. I'll check back with you later. Okay, everybody, I just took these uh, ribs off the grill, brought them in the house and unwrapped them. You can see I've got some good pullback on the on the bones here. This is a, a wet rib. It's kind of like if you uh, just took it off the pig and uh, it doesn't have a rub on it, just salt, pepper, and red pepper. And then I put a little vinegar sauce on it before I wrapped it. But um, I'm going to let it cool for about 10 minutes and then we'll cut into it when I do. I'll, uh, I'll take a video and show it to you. Thanks for uh, watching. Don't forget our contest now. The 100 subscribers in 30 days. One of you gets a $50 gift card. Thanks for watching. 